All right, Shalom Akim. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well. And salutations to the hopeful elect that's pushing this word in sincerity and truth across the four corners of the earth, you know. And I'm just back with another quick lesson. Uh, I'm going to entitle this one, uh, Your Redemption Draweth Nigh, all right? Because us being in the times, you know what I'm saying, that we in, all right, we should know, all right, the brothers that's in the faith, that's really pushing this word and sincerity and truth. We should know that our redemption, you know, draw of nigh, man. All right, all the signs, all the prophecies that Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai said had to come forth upon the earth, you know what I mean, before our salvation actually comes and the kingdom of heaven is established, all right, are playing out right now, man. Those last couple prophecies are, are playing out right before our eyes, man. All right, you got the chip being pushed, man. All right. Uh, the the company in Wisconsin, in Wisconsin, uh, the actual name, the actual name of the uh company eludes me right now, but I know that they're offering their employees uh the RFID microchip, man. All right, and we know that that's the mark of the beast, man. All right, and just like the apostle Tahar say, as well as all the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, all right, that once that chip is being pushed on a mad mad level, like a mass level, all right. Everything gonna speed up, you know what I mean? Once they push that chip, cause that's that's the end game, the chip. You know what I mean? So our redemption draw of nigh, man. Just like your house shot said, man. All right. And I'm gonna start with uh Luke twenty one and twenty eight. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, all right, talking about the prophecy, man. All right, all the end time prophecies they come to pass, man. World War three. All right, all these nations is over there kicking up dust, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, you got uh, uh, famines going on in the world, man. It just hasn't hit Babylon on the full effect yet, man. All right, you got uh, uh, earthquakes in various places, man. All right, nation rising against nation. All right, that's about to happen, man. You see these racial tensions, you know what I'm saying, popping up, man. Esau kicking up dust. Jake kicking up dust, man. The other nations kicking up dust, man. All right, so what's that going to lead to, man? Everybody, you know what I'm saying, Getting in a, a, a proverbial ring, man. All right, everybody about to start fighting and shit, man. All right, thus said Yahweh Hashem was shot, man. All right, these are the things that he was talking about, man. When these things begin to come to pass, man. All right, and the only people that's gonna know are the men that's preaching this word of sincerity and truth, man. That's worshiping Yahweh Hashem was shot, man. All right, we the only ones that's gonna know. That these are the signs of the end times, man. To everybody else, it's just the world going through another phase, all right? That is World War Three shit. You got old ass niggas, they be like, well, I was around for World War One and Two, da, 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 da. but they don't know this is the end game, man. All right, when we talk about race wars, all right, them, them baby boomer generation, all right, they feel like, man, we done already seen that, man. Da, 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 da. It's going to be on a mass level. It's going to be every nation against every nation, man. All right, the times that's about to come upon the earth, you none of you motherfuckers have seen this, man. I'm, I'm tired of people that's you know, they older than me in age, not in spirit, in physical age. And they always tell me they, they got this uh, uh thing like, what am I trying to say? This complex, like, well, I've seen everything. I, I've, you know, seen it all, done it all, been there, done that. Everything that you're saying out there in the street corner, I've seen it in some form or fashion. But they have, not, it, it's not, you haven't seen it to the max. All right, for lack of a better word, you haven't seen Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah turn shit up to the max, man. And that's what's about to happen on the planet Earth, man. All right, and you people, you people, you just ain't ready, man. You know? It says, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw of nine, man. All right, and why is he telling us to look up, man? All right, for him coming back in the chariots, man. All right, lift up your head for your redemption is nine, man. So when you people out there, you read that, you don't know what that means, man. Y'all don't know what that mean, man. Y'all don't know that your house shot is coming back in chariots, man. All right? To kill and murder, man. All right? Just like you see in the picture, man. Motherfuckers' heads flying. You know, and your house shot looking fierce, man. All right? Although he's going to be in a chariot, all right? Just looking fierce, man. Coming to put shit to death, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what he told us to look, look for, man. All right? So we can get delivered. Lord willing, we beat him in. All right? Uh, it's Romans 13 and 11. It says, in that, knowing the time, that now is the high time to awake out of sleep. All right? And what's that sleep, man? Being in a Gentile state of mind, man. 
All right, being a fucking American, man. All right, if you if you're an American, you're asleep, man. All right, even as it pertains, you know, even comparing you to these other nations around the world, man. Americans don't fucking know what's going on on a global scale, man. They don't know shit, man. All they know is their favorite TV show, PlayStation, uh, partying, and fucking fashion. That's all you niggas know, man. Especially you niggas, you Israelites, you tribes, man. That's all y'all niggas know, man. All right, but you're not going to wake up out of that sleep, man. The Most High got you in that sleep. It's talking about the elect, man. Those who Yahweh Shimei Hoshai bestowed his Holy Spirit upon, man. All right, to come back and be and be drawn back, man. All right. It says, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. It's nearer than we believe, man. You know, I'm, I'm a young brother in this truth. You know, all right, and... and you know, things just went by so fast, man. That's why I commend the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, to the, to the extent that I do, as well as all the brothers that fall up under them, man. Even in this thing, like, you know what I mean, 30 some odd years, some odd, you know, 20, 30 years, man. You know, for me, you know, going on my just my third year, being a babe and the truth, it's like this just flew by, man. And here it is. We at the door, man. All right. It flew by. This time I feel like I just came in the truth last week or something, man. All right, it's time flew by. You how about Shimao Shah is it's not a man where he can lie, man. Say he was gonna speed up the days for the elect the elect's sake, man. Or shorten it. So like you shorten the days for the elect's sake, Lord willing myself and the brothers that's pushing this word of sincerity and truth under the doctrine of the apostles and elders elders of great millstone who have the true doctrine of Yahweh Bar Shimao All right, Lord willing we be those men. All right. But this this time flew by, man, and here it is, man, to chip me and push, man. All right. Not on a not on a not on a mass scale. It's not mandatory yet. All right, but you see, hey, you know Esau tiptoeing towards his new world order, man. And what the Most High has said, man. You know what I mean? It's like it. What the Most High has said about you know what I'm saying when he when he get close to his shit, man. All right, that he was gonna, hey, he was gonna snatch the plate, right? Like like when you sit down to eat a meal. You hungry and shit, and you about to dig into it like somebody snatching the plate from you, man. That's what the most high gonna do to Esau when he establishes his little bullshit new world order. All right? Or some of it. It says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. All right? Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light, man. All right? And what's the works of darkness, man? All those works we had when we were Gentiles in the world, man. And the armor of light. All right, is the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. Your belief, your faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's the armor of light, man. You know, it says, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, man. All right, so not in rioting and, and, and drunkenness, man. All right, basically don't be a nigga, man. All right, not in rioting, man. Just be patient, man. Know what I mean? And and in drunkenness, man, don't be ain't nothing wrong with having a drink, man. But don't be so drunk that you're unaware, man. Don't be like 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 how a wino is on the street. Don't be like a fucking wino, man. You just so you just this your whole life is getting drunk, man, with no other outlet, man. All right. It says not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on. The Lord Yahweh, it's like you. The Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So basically, in these times, man, we just need to be spiritual, man. All right, and Salakia to the brothers. What I just read is actually Romans thirteen and fourteen. Salakia, uh, wrote it down wrong. All right, but uh, yeah, make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof, man. All right, cause you supposed to be walking in the spirit in these times, bro. All right, that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be spiritual, man, because that's how we going to, uh, Lord willing, we be those men. We're ordained to make it. That's how we're going to make it in these times, by being spiritual. All right, any carnal means of, of retaliation or uh, having faith in any having faith in any carnal means, is you just a dead man, all right? You got to be faithful, man, in these times, man, all right? So I didn't want to make that video too long, man. You know, I, I hope it was edifying. You know, I want to give all praises to you, how about Shimei Hawashai, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well, and salutations to all the hopeful elect that's pushing this word in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. All right? Shalom. Thank you.